use the word surprise, but of course they wanted to be here. Getting here was of course the toughest thing. And these two guys that are right here, they're going to say they're surprised they're here. They're just happy that they're in the state title game. I'm joined by John Arles, the defensive coordinator. Must be nothing going on. Yeah. <laughs> So CVTV is just that boring. You ran out of material. Yeah. So now we're just trying to figure out cool things. And we decided, you know what? This is a cool teacher. Let's do them. Okay. I worked for KJCT. Uh, it was kind of technically, it wasn't second job in the third job in the business. But I worked for KJCT News 8 in Grand Junction, Colorado. My job there was, I forgot how many days I worked, but it, like, it was like Wednesday through Sunday. My job was to essentially scour the wires like for national sports news. But if it was happening in Grand Junction, Palisade, Fruta, I had to go out and shoot highlights of it, do stories and basically tell the story of Western Slope sports. That was that was my job. So I went from Grand Junction to Colorado Springs, then up to Denver, worked for a minor league baseball team. Then I worked for the Mountain West Sports Network. Then I worked for the Pac-12 Network. Um, but when I came back from San Francisco, uh, I didn't want to find another network to work with. I wanted to try to like branch out on my own. So I started my own production company. I did that for a couple years and I made a, enough money to kind of survive uh, before I got into to coaching. So what Frank Martin Films was, was my like foray to small business. I wanted to carve a niche with small businesses and tell the story of small businesses. So that was like my, my business model. Okay, so I have two kids. TJ and Frankie, little Frankie named after me. TJ's 14, Frankie's 11. Pretty much spend all my time now doing stuff with them or for them. Like they're in sports too. Uh, and so like that pretty much consumes my life. My wife's name is Leslie. She works for CBS. So when I was a kid, I used to go to Dodger games all the time. Like we were lucky enough to have season tickets to the Los Angeles Dodgers. And back then it was so long ago that um, people would bring transistor radios to the game and i was lucky enough that i experienced vin scully and like i would literally sit in games and people would would turn their radio on and play it for your section that you were sitting in and think about how like weird that sounds like nowadays if you played like music or a video on your phone what do people do they tell you to turn it down right mm -hmm. but back then everybody wanted to hear vin scully broadcast the game and i literally wanted to be the next vin scully so I started to get into that in high school and college and kind of delved into that world. I wanted to be the next Vin Scully. Along the way, I developed kind of my own style and then I started doing my own stuff. So I, I never really became the next Vin Scully, but he's the reason that I got into sports broadcasting. Like, I, I just hope kids know if, if you're watching this, like, you know, your teachers aren't perfect, but they do care about you. And there's something to learn in everybody. And like, if you take a look at me, like, I know it sounds super cheesy, but I'm living my dream life right now. And I know not everybody has the dream to be a high school teacher and coach, <laughs> right? And I get that. But for me, this is it. And I'm like super duper happy. And I'm super duper content in life. Okay. And that has nothing to do with my social status, has nothing to do with my financial status. It really just has to do with what's in my heart. And if I could tell kids like, hey, search out for that, go achieve that, attack that, finding happiness in your life and contentment and satisfaction, and, and that's how you'll be successful in life, that would be my, my, my one thing I would want to drop home here at the end, is that that's the most important thing, uh, not all the other stuff that the world tries to sell you on. All right. Thank you. All right.